Hello coders, in this tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how you can check whether or not an array contains a certain key. So we're going to use key exists. Okay, let's get into the code. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is look for a particular key in this array. So we've got four elements here. We've got Iron Man, Hulk, Black Widow and Rogue. This means that this has a key of zero, a key of one, two and three. Okay, to check whether or not one of these keys exists, we use the key underscore exist function. So let's go ahead and type that out. Let's type key underscore exists like so. I'm not going to put anything in the parentheses at the moment. What I'm going to do is just control click into the documentation here. So if we scroll up, we can see that it checks if the given key or index exists in the array. The name of this function is array underscore key exists in PHP greater than 4.0.6. This is an alias to that function. So here we've got the link to the documentation if you want to check that out and some more examples on the php.net website. It takes a parameter which is the key to look for, the value to check, as well as the array that you want to search against, so an array with keys to check. It returns a boolean, so return bool here. It's either going to be true on success or false on failure. So let's go back to our code. I'm going to search for a key that I know already exists. So we're going to search for the key of zero. So we're going to put in zero like so, that's the key. And then we're going to supply the array that we want to search against. So in this case, we're going to put in heroes like so. Now we need to assign this to a variable. It comes back with a Boolean, true if it does exist and false if it doesn't. So we're going to add a variable here called does exist and we're going to assign that the return of this key underscore exists function call. So what we're going to do is print this out whether or not it does exist. So we're going to do print and then does exist. Now because this is a boolean if it's true then it's going to be one and if it's false then it's going to be zero. What I would like to do though is have a little bit more verbose output. So what we're going to do is check for the return value. So we're going to do if does exist we're going to print out yes it does else and then we're going to print no, it doesn't, like so. Okay, let's hit save, and then I'm going to use the PHP local server to see the output of this check. So here we can see that it does exist. That's great because we know that the zero key does exist in our array. What happens though if there is a key that we request that doesn't exist in the array? So let's go ahead and check that out. So we've got the key zero, one, two, and three. Let's see if we can look for a key of four. So let's change zero to four like so. Now in theory, we should be in this else block now because uh, it doesn't exist. This becomes false. So let's hit save and go back into our browser. And as we can see that it doesn't exist. No, it doesn't. Now, what I need to do, of course, is change that. So let's go back to the code and just tidy this up. We do this, of course, by putting in double quotes here. And just for consistency, I'm also going to put these as double quotes too. Okay, let's hit save, go back to the browser and it should look better. Okay. So this is checking for whether or not a key exists. Now in the next tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at whether a value exists. It does a similar thing to this, but obviously it's checking the values. So I will see you in the next one. If you found this coding tutorial helpful, then please do let me know, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the How To Code Well YouTube channel because we've got all sorts of coding courses and tutorials like this coming up in the future. If you've got a coding question that you want to ask, then please do so. Join the howtocodewell.net Discord server, that's howtocodewell.net forward slash Discord to get invited and also do check out the other courses and tutorials that I have on howtocodewell.net. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Bye.